What's up, everyone? This is James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com bringing you episode number four of Teach Me How to Lightroom. Today, we're going to take this portrait that I took and we're going to give it some color grading effects, give it a cinematic look. So we're going to be bringing out blues in the shadows, restoring yellows in the highlights. That's right. We're going to be doing some split toning today. So let's get right into it. I check my composition here and overall I'm happy with what I was able to get in the camera. I shot this at 85 millimeters. I shot it at f1.2. You can see here I achieved pretty critical focus here right on that eye that's peeking out right outside of the hood. Right away as we get into the basic panel here, I'm not going to actually touch the exposure at all. I'm totally happy with what we got in camera. But what I am going to do is I'm going to apply the medium contrast curve right on the tone curve there. Because as you guys probably know already, that's where I like to start out. So as we come back up to the basic part here, we're going to take our highlights down to about 50, 55 or so. I think 55 looks good. With our shadows, we're going to bring them up just a tad bit here. About 25 looks good to me. I'm going to check my whites here, make sure nothing important is clipping. You can see here there's a little bit of clipping there, but that's nothing I'm concerned about. Let's bring the blacks down just a little bit, and then I'm going to check here as well, make sure nothing important is being clipped. Just the deepest shadows of her jacket is being clipped here. That's not bad at all. I'm totally fine with that. So that's good to go. I'm going to keep going down. I'm not affecting clarity on this image at all. But on the vibrance, we're going to come up around 30 or so. That looks good. And then on the saturation, we're actually going to pull down just a little bit, somewhere around minus 15 or so. There we go. Perfect. So now we're going to scroll down. We're going to hit our split toning. And very frequently with split toning, this is kind of what drives the whole cinematic look and kind of just makes it look like this is a cutscene in a movie. So with our highlights, we're going to go around 60, 70 ish. Let's do. Let's go with 70. And then on the saturation, we're not going to go too heavy, but we are going to go around 35. Yeah, I like that. With the shadows, we're going to bring that into the blue section here. We're going to go around 230, 240 or so. Let's go with 240. I like that. And then with the saturation there, we're going to go around 25, 24. Let's do 25. So with the split toning that we did, I want to come up to the HSL panel here and we're going to work with our luminance and we're going to work on our blues and bring those down just a little bit. So we're going to start with the aquas. We're going to bring those down pretty far, somewhere around 70 or so. I like that. And then what we're going to do with the corresponding cooler tones, we're going to bring those down as well, just a little bit. And we're going to make sort of a curved effect here with our luminance slider. And the reason why we want to do this gradually is so that we don't have any harsh clipping on a particular shade of a cool tone. And you can see here when we turn it on and off, it just adds a little bit more color information or just lowers the exposure really of the cooler tones within the image. So now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and come back up to the color balance and we're going to balance out the colors just a little bit because of what we did with the split toning. We're going to make a little adjustment here. We're going to add some warmth back into the image. We're going to go around 7,800. I think 7,800 looks good. We're definitely on the right track. And because we're doing a cinematic effect, we definitely got to add a matte finish to the tone curve here. So we're going to scroll down. I'm going to remove the second node to the left by double clicking. And then I'm going to take the node all the way to the left and I'm going to raise it up some. There we go. Right about there. That looks good. And what that does, in addition to lowering the intensity of the blacks or clipping the blacks, really, is it's adding even more blue into the shadows. So the last couple of things that we're going to do kind of revolves around the model's face here. So we're going to take the adjustment brush tool or we're going to click K on our keyboard. And I already have mine set to a preset that I created called skin smoothing. But if you want to create this yourself, all you have to do is input minus 52 on clarity, minus 45 on sharpness. 
and you're pretty much good to go. Now, there's some adjustments that you do need to make just depending on skin tones, skin colors, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But this is definitely a good starting place. And if you wanted to save this, all you have to do is click on the drop down menu here and click save current settings as a new preset. So with these settings input, I'm gonna zoom in some and I'm just gonna start brushing some of the harder textures away from our model's face here. There we go. Looks much better already. So I'm gonna turn that off and on. Now keep in mind that's just a real quick brush through. I would strongly recommend taking your time and making it perfect. The last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna click new, and this is a preset I called iPop. I'm gonna give plus 0.35 on exposure, plus 38 on clarity, and plus 40 on saturation. And what we do with this, we're just gonna hit the iris and give that just a little bit more pop in the image to really draw your attention there. So I'm gonna press H on my keyboard to get rid of the little nodes, and then we can go in and out and see that that made a pretty substantial difference. There we go. I'm gonna exit out of the adjustment brush, and I'm gonna close out the image here. I'm gonna add a vignette. Now I shot this at f1.2 on an 85 millimeter, which does have quite a bit of natural vignette, but I really want to emphasize the effect here, so I'm going to draw your attention in by creating a vignette. I'm going to do around minus 20, pretty strong one. And then the final thing is we're going to come back up, add some sharpening to it, somewhere around plus 75. This was shot at ISO 200 on a 5D Mark III, and I'm not unhappy with the noise levels at all. So let's take a look at where we started, and then take a look at where we ended. Oh, I'm super happy with that. Well, I'm James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com, and this is Teach Me How to Lightroom.